The great thing about JCM Global is we're basically the first line of defense for the casinos for counterfeiting and to protect, counter, protect the casino from counterfeiting. Humans are the weak point in any equation. Humans are the point where you have theft, humans are the point where you have mistakes, you have errors, omissions, all, all kinds of different scenarios. In the case of our product, it's a machine that takes over the interaction and the transaction. The way our product works is when you walk up to any of those points where you can do a cash transaction, you interact with a machine instead of a human. So when you get to a scenario where you have the potential for money laundering, organized crime involvement, any type of a nefarious intent, we have the technology to actually capture down to that level in the transaction every single bill, every single ticket, who inserted it, when they inserted it, and match the image of that note to them, put it into a database. That database could be pulled by an enforcement agency to be used for whatever purposes that they need. How the industry has evolved is we have back office servers that manage the slot machines on a casino floor that used to be completely offline. And although they still can't reach the internet, what has changed is that more and more third party systems are interfacing with those back office servers, which creates some security vulnerabilities that raise some concerns. Um, the data that's on those servers has a price tag. It's all the player tracking data, player spending habits, names, addresses, phone numbers, all information that, if it's in the wrong hands, can be used against players. What we do in the lab is we do a functional test of the software on that back office server, um, using the games in the server itself to ensure that it works as, as designed. And what we'll actually do on the casino floor when we do a network risk assessment is we, we put on the hat of an attacker. We'll go in there as if we're an attacker and try to hack through the network and ultimately try to get to that back office server or any other servers that we possibly can to show the operator really what, what an attacker could have done. Our customers, being the operators, would have the peace of mind that the guys who know those systems better than anybody else have come in and told us, here are the risks, here's how we need to approach mitigating those risks. And if we do what they say, then we're, we're in the best shape we possibly can be with protecting players' valuable data. And every operator in the world, I think, would agree that if that player data gets out and it's their name, that's awful. That's awful. No one wants their name in the news.